Today is the 10th of January, it's 2023, and it's Happy New Year from Palma Nova. Oh, oh it's a as well. bit windy. Um, yeah, we, we arrived back last night and uh, had a great dip journey, really, there was no problems. Uh, but we're, we're out in Palma Nova today, we've got to go shopping, so I uh, don't think we're going to be out walking for very long, but uh, first place we've come to, and it looks beautiful. So what do we have? We have a deserted beach. Uh, we have beautiful blue skies and it's really, well, compared with what we've been used to in the UK, it's really warm. There is a bit of a breeze today. Uh, the sea's really calm, so the, the breeze must be coming uh, from the north a little bit, I think. So uh, hopefully it won't affect the sound too much. Taxis all lined up here. And it's a nice warm breeze. We've been enjoying really warm weather in Mallorca over Christmas. Uh, we've missed it, of course. Uh, but hopefully it'll continue a little bit longer while uh, we go into January. But I'm feeling really quite warm. Oh, and even the Christmas bauble's still up. Did do some uh, videos around here just before Christmas, just before we left. And we're both now officially retired. So we, 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 we both feel, at least I feel, as though I'm skipping school. Uh, it's a Tuesday morning and I'd normally be having my classes on a Tuesday, but not today. We're just going past the Cam Blanc, and the Cam Blanc's looking good. Lots of people out having a, a morning coffee. Nita's just been to uh, book her nails in, and um, just seeing that uh, there's loads of barriers. I'm not sure whether they've been dropped off or whether they've been picked up. Yeah, it's probably from the, the things. We've got to get out, out of the way of the lorry. Once you're in the sun, it does feel really quite warm. And uh, I've got a jacket on, but it's really not necessary. Shorts next time, darling. Oh, that's right. Shorts and t-shirts. There's already people out in shorts and t-shirts. It's only January. Hello. 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 We watch you all the time. Do you? Yeah, and my mum follows you constantly. Oh, lovely. Well, yeah. Lovely, lovely to meet you. you. And you. Bye bye. Oh, that was really nice to meet. Uh, we just met Karen and Darren from Middlesbrough, and uh, their mum uh, watches our videos. Hello, mum. Hello, mum. <laughs> uh, really nice to have a little chat to them, and uh, they're regular visitors, so I'm guessing we're going to see them again. They have an apartment here. But it is really a beautiful, beautiful day. The sun glistening on the sea there. I'm just looking down, I can see that they need to do a little bit of work on this promenade before the uh, season starts. It's what happens when you bring in lorries driving over them to do repair work, they break other things. Uh, so, let's see if we get that done. So they're in the sea on Leon the Solent and not in Mallorca? Yeah, just a few days ago, last week, we were walking along uh, the front in Leon the Solent and uh, temperatures are really quite low, less than 10 degrees. And uh, there were people, I saw three, I think, people swimming in the sea. And this wasn't any sort of a challenge like the Boxing Day challenge. This was just people going for a swim. And uh, here we are in Palma Nova. Uh, I think we can see three people on the whole beach. And uh, well, one of them might be paddling. No shoes on. Another two are dog walkers. Uh, but it does really look beautiful. 
The sea's calm, the sea's clean. You can see the bottom. We're back in paradise. Well, I've just come up the steps now and uh, looking down onto the beach. And I don't know how well you can see, but the sea is crystal clear. Beautifully clean. The beach is spotlessly clean. I've obviously been over the beach and uh, cleaned it all up. It's looking really good. And the sky's as blue as it's blue. I'll just have a little walk around here now. Anita's sending photographs off to her friends. So, knitting tomorrow. Yes, Anita has her knitting group. Middle of the week. So that will leave me at something of a loose end. Normally I'd be at school, so I wouldn't really know what about it, but uh, now I'm going to have to start planning different things to do. And uh, people said, what are your plans? And uh, well, we don't really have too many plans. Uh, we want to do more videoing. So we want to see different parts of the island. And one of the things I would like to do is to visit a lot more of the markets that uh, can't usually do because they're in the week and they're in the morning. So maybe we'll be visiting some more markets in the in the coming days and weeks and revisiting some of those that we've already been to because uh, different time of the year <coughs> so that's about the extent of our retirement plans really. We can do this every day. We can do this sort of thing every day. Not always in Palmen over of course, but uh, lots of different parts of the island. One of the things that uh, the government brought in for the new year, which we we need to go and investigate, is um, free travel on buses and trains for residents. So people who live here and they've got the, all the residence cards and everything. Um, you get another card, and that allows you to travel free on, on the buses or on the train. I quite fancy doing that, so I certainly enjoyed travelling by train here in Mallorca. And lots of nice places to, to visit on the way, and places perhaps we wouldn't normally go to. And also to use the bus service. And normally I have to drive. And to go to the other side of the island may take a, an hour or more each way. And it's, it's just a long time to drive. So using a bus sounds like a, quite exciting. So we're in the middle beach now. And uh, we can see this uh, an exercise group going on in the, the middle there. But other than that, it's a deserted beach just for us. I'm just going down the steps, so I'll just turn the video off. Down on beach level now. It's just really nice to have the sun on your back. As Karen and Darren were saying, it's been fantastic weather over the last few days. Not just a few days, actually, a few weeks. Uh, so when we left in December, the weather was really quite mild. Usually it's quite a bit cooler, um, but with clear blue skies uh, it does feel quite nice, quite warm, so yeah, this is fairly normal. It's quite pleasant to sit out outside, you need a jumper on, and uh, up the steps we go, coming out, oh it's windy here now. Apologies for the sound. I, I do have a method of, uh, of sorting the sound problems out <coughs> and I will just have to implement them. Um, <laughs> I just haven't got round to it today. So we're just coming around past the Hotel Tropico. It's going to be a short walk today because uh, as we only arrived back last night, we've got to go shopping. I looked in the fridge and there was nothing there. So uh, we're going to go off to Mercadona, we're going to do a spot of shopping 
and then uh, this afternoon uh, Anita normally has to look after the children and uh, I'll be able to join her today so we're quite lucky in that respect so Tuesday is uh, a day set aside for looking after uh, our two granddaughters that live here as you'd expect at this time of year there seems to be um, work going on so uh, Nova E Tap has closed there's no work going on there but across the road next to the leather shop some power tools being used and it is uh, well, it's only right that they should do all of the building construction repair work when the tourists are not here repairing the pavements yeah, that's quite what they're doing some shops are open Lottery ticket. Mm. I mean, you cannot resist lottery tickets. We're, we're always lucky if we even get one number. And very, very, very occasionally she gets her money back. Uh, and that's about it, I think. But, uh, across the road there, that's where all the work's going on. Noisy, noisy. We're going to leave that in the background as we head back down. And we're going to head back to the car so we can do the shopping. There's the stadium. It says uh, Tuesday to Sunday. I don't think they're open at the moment. They'll be opening later on. And uh, on the right here we've got Ciro's restaurant that's closed for holidays. They're, they're reopening on the 1st of March. Um, on the 1st of March, so that's when things will start to liven up as far as sea rows are concerned. Yeah, we're, we're half, nearly halfway now through January, getting there, and uh, we haven't got any fixed plans yet. Well, we have got a few fixed plans, haven't we? We've got our holiday in Ibiza, which uh, Yes, we're going on holiday to Ibiza, that's a neighbouring island. Um, and it's booked through an English tour uh, operator, it's booked through TUI. And I know Howard was saying, what on earth are you doing that for? Um, well, it's so we can all be in the same hotel for a wedding, so uh, we needed to be in the same hotel. So that's uh, coming up later on this year, but before that we've got another wedding. And that's Julia. Uh, uh, she's getting married in London, so we'll be off to London in May. In May, sometime. So we've got to start booking flights and hotels for that. So yeah, some plans. So I may have said we didn't have any plans. So sort of things get planned for us. To be out for a walk. Morning. I think they're close for yeah. uh, some holidays, which is really good because they work so hard during the summer months. I think he's retired from anything now, obviously. Mm -hmm. He's joined the club. Feed the birds, tuppence a bag. Tuppence. Well, it's good to get out for our first walk, break us in gently.
When we were in, in England, we went for a walk down to Leon the Solent, and uh, another YouTuber was uh, obviously on the same beach and, uh, and spotted us. That was really quite nice. And uh, wrote to us and uh, said that they'd seen us. Didn't realise at the time who we were and what we were doing until they actually saw the video. And one of the things we saw as we were walking along were a lot of benches, and um, particularly after the new year, we saw lots of flowers given. And the benches have got plaques on in memory of people who have passed away. And I did mention at the time um, that there are plaques here. Here's one in lo loving memory uh, of Bill and Vicky Brown, uh, residents of Palmanova from 1970 to 2008. Bill and Vicky were friends of ours and sadly both of them have now passed on. Um, Bill was a member of, uh, of our lodge and uh, always kept us uh, straight with the money. He was our accountant and uh, did a great job for many, many years and uh, sadly missed. much open down at this end at the moment but it's still morning time so any that might be opening later on I think probably most of these are just closed for the holidays where you will find places open is the road that runs up here towards the roundabout and uh, most of the bars on that road are open so that's really where people people go uh, at this time of the year Right, well we're just going up to the car now so we'll finish the video here. It's been a lovely short walk around Palmanova, we'll be back for a longer one in the coming days but thank you very much for watching, uh, happy new year and we look forward to seeing you in our next video so bye bye for now. Bye.